Good evening. Tonight we're live from the year 1926 in Soho, London, in this rather dusty and dingy flat to meet the great Scottish inventor, John Logie Baird. So far, Mr. Baird has invented the glass razor blade, the inflatable shoe, the Baird undersock, and shorted out the entire Glasgow power supply. Yes, really. And now we're here to see his latest invention, the television. Good evening, Mr. Baird. Good evening. Now, is there anything you can tell us about this newfangled thing of yours, Mr. Baird? Um, it is called television. Well, um, yes, I'm sure I just told the viewers that. Well, how about what on earth is television? Well, it is a wee bit like radio, except I can send moving pictures as well as sound. I can be at the camera end of it, and at the receiver, there'd be a wee picture of me, potentially thousands of miles away. The receiver would be in your house, it'd be like going to the movies, the picture theatre, in your own home. Interesting. Now, is it true that in your prototype television, you used a hat box? Aye, and I used a pair of knitting needles, a bicycle lump, a cotton bob, sealing wax, and a coffin lid. Thank you, Mr. Baird. I'm not sure about the coffin, but apparently television is cutting-edge technology and will become a big thing one day. We are very fortunate to have Mr. Baird live in our studio to demonstrate his television apparatus. Back to you, Bob. This is my replica of Mr. Beard's mechanical television receiver. Like Mr. Beard's prototype, it uses NIPCO discs. NIPCO discs are discs with holes in a spiral shape that scan the object that's going to be transmitted. The light from the object is shone through the NIPCO disc. The light is picked up by a light detector, which turns the light into electricity. The electricity is sent to the receiver, which has a lamp, which turns the electricity back into light. This light is shone through the disc, meaning that the exact same amount of light that came into the first disc comes out the second disc, forming a picture. This television has a tiny screen, and it's extremely fiddly and hard to film. But I'm going to try and demonstrate my TV going using a transmitter I prepared earlier. I hope you could see that. TV has come a long way since Baird's prototype, and I'm sure you'll agree, picture quality has improved a lot as well. In New Zealand, we spend three hours a day watching TV, but we don't often think about where it came from. So I hope you've enjoyed learning a bit about the first television and its inventor.